This is code.org, and we are going to complete this program that runs a simulation of a rolling pair of dice 100 times and keeps track of how often doubles were rolled after the simulation. The program should tell the user how many doubles were rolled, for example. For example, number of doubles rolled out of 100, total rolls is 19. All right, let's see if this works. Does it work? I want to know. Number of doubles rolled out of a hundred total rolls. And no, it doesn't work. Okay, we'll reset this. Uh, at the start of the loop, before the loop, create a variable to keep track of the number of doubles that are rolled. Ah, all right. So right here, create a variable um, that, maybe I should zoom out a bit, uh, that to keep track of the number of doubles that are rolled, done. So what should I call this? Um counter oh they already have a counter double maybe double count sure and i'll set that equal to zero now guys remember variables are up to you you can name them what you want you just want them to be descriptive so they're readable all right at the start of the loop update the conditional statement don't let this terminology scare you this is our conditional statement wall so while the counter is something it will run. Right now, the counter is not going to be true or false. It's just counter. We need to give it a condition that lets it know uh, that it can evaluate. And that way, everything in this like bluish block of code, it kind of looks like a mouth, honestly, will get run as long as whatever this condition is true. What do they want? At the... At the start of the loop, update the conditional statement for the wall loop so that there are 100 simulated rolls. Okay, so wall, uh, counter, and what's counter start at? Zero. Okay, so I'll do counter is less than 100. And the reason you might say, wait a minute, mister, but it needs to happen 100 times. So at this point, right, as counter counts up, here, I can have it uh, print. Here, I want to show you what I mean. I'm going to council log it, just so you can see it. Seven. And so right now, counter plus plus means counter goes up by one each time. Let's speed this along. And notice it stops at 99. However, really, we started counting at zero. So there were 100 rounds before we stopped. The reason it stopped at 99 is counter starts at zero, just like it says right here. We run through this code, we roll a random number, we roll another random number, I print out what a counter is, and then counter goes up by one. We hit the bottom, back to the top. Counter would now be equal to one. One is less than 100, roll, roll, print. Counter equals counter plus one, counter plus plus. Counter now equals two, back, hit the bottom, back to the top. Two is less than 100, and then we keep doing this until counter is at 99. Once it's at 99, 99 plus one is 100, boom. 100 is not less than 100, and it would stop running there, which is great because we started counting at zero, so that would be 100 times. Three, inside the loop, add code that checks to see if doubles were rolled and updates the variable tracking the number of times. Okay, so we need an if and bloop, if, and if doubles were rolled. Well, what is a double? How do we know? A double is when they match, right? When the numbers are the same. So to check for equality, keep in mind, we use two equal signs. One equal signs makes us a variable. Two is us asking a question. So if roll one is equal equal, is equal to roll two, then what do they want us to do? Well, at this point, if we know these are equal, and that's the only way the code inside this like block thing, this if will run. If this is false, if roll one is nine and roll two is two, well, then this code's not going to run. This has to be true. Otherwise, this won't run. However, if this is true, we want to update our account. So I'm going to pull this in, and I'm going to say doubles count equals doubles count, whatever doubles used to be equal to, plus one. So it will go up by one each time. However, a faster way to do this is their example right here. So a shorthand for that, that they're using here. Oh, did they not give it to us? Lame. I'm going to do it anyways. What they're trying to do here is shorthand for exactly what I just wrote. And so I'm going to do 
You don't need that comment, I'm just explaining to you. Alright, after the loop, update council log statement to include the number of doubles rolled. Okay, so right here, number of doubles rolled for, ooh, and so at the end of this council log, remember, after the string, so at the last quote, and I have to click and use my arrow keys to get there, sometimes it fights me, I'm going to do plus, and what did I call the counting variable? Doubles count. So that's what I'm going to write right here, so it gets displayed. That is looking good. Let me hear it. Let's see what we got. Big money, big money. Ooh, 12. Ooh, 14. It's kind of anticlimactic. 7. 11. 7 11. Rah. Hey, it works. Awesome. Onward.